Our company name is Afterlife Mortuary Services. We were established October 8th, 2018. Dana and I both have been licensed morticians over a decade. We met in 2009 and we were both forensic techs and so it's like we just kept bumping into each other over the years and kind of kept in contact in between. Started as a working relationship and then blossomed to a friendship and Madeline reached out to me uh, in 2016 and she had the idea of the mortuary service and everything sounded great to me so I was on board. People's response most of the time, you know, they kind of stand back or they're shocked to hear that a young lady is a mortician. I get a lot of questions about, do you work with the body or are you afraid of the bodies? Do you eat? Are you able to sleep well? And of course, I'm okay with all of it. So it's just pretty entertaining to see people's reactions when they find out that I am a mortician. Monday is the start of our funeral services education camp. We're really excited about it. It's something positive for the individuals to be engaged in during the summer. Something very educational and informative that they'll be able to carry with them for years to come. So the camp is going to include exposure and education in death care professions as a whole. They will be introduced to homicide investigators. They're gonna meet forensic specialists, forensic investigators. They're going to take a tour of the Medical Education Research Institute, where they'll learn about tissue donation, organ donation. They'll see cadavers in procedures of medical research. They'll also take a tour of Elmwood Cemetery. Anyone who aspires to work within death care, they'll be able to engage and meet those professionals as well. We are actually the first women in the city of Memphis to establish a funeral home. So we've made history in that aspect in our profession and in the city. With the experience we have thus far over a decade of it, we've dealt with plenty of barriers and the challenges that come with being a female within a male dominant profession. But the thing is to just keep a positive attitude. You know that it's something that you desire and have a passion to do. So we stick with it and we overcome every obstacle.